Wigan versus Reading. And again, it looks like a six pointer very early on. Yeah, key game. Obviously, Reading in big trouble. And they've kind of slipped under the radar when people don't realise how big a trouble they're in at the moment, uh, Brian McDermott's men. But I look at this game, you know, Wigan, when they've conceded first in, in their games, they've always lost. Whenever they concede that first goal flash, it's never any good for them. Seven times that's happened this season. So Reading need to get off to a good start. Clearly, the value will be with Reading here. And I think, again, the DW, a tricky place to go. The market would probably side with Wigan. It's the least attractive, the least popular game so far on the markets at Sporting. But I would suspect most of the other bookmakers. But home win looks, looks a safe play. It's not really an active game for me to get stuck into. Though. Butler, wide open game, wide open prices. Wide open game, and that's why the draw, I think, makes appeal. 11 to 4. Big price of the draws there. Nobody ever backs them. Usually expect them to be about 9 to 4. But 11 to 4 here, definitely might be tempting here for me. Reading played a very similar fixture two weeks ago in Norwich, and it fizzled out to a nil nil draw. And the stats here, only one goal in the last three meetings between these two sides. Not many goals on show. I think 11 to 4, the draw represents great value. 19 to 20, Wigan, slightly around your even money mark. A little bit odds on. Reading, 100 to 30. But it's all about for the draw for me, and a low scoring one. I like nil nil here or maybe even 1-1. One, one. I don't see many goals and Wigan, you don't get them. And the pitch, cutting up a little bit there at the, the stadium there and a the draw for me makes some appeal. 11-4. to four. 